I'm so sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Uh, I really hate it when students uh, feel no choice but to do that. Hey, staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. <laughs> or not. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Bull, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. No, we spent the whole night sleeping and thinking about therapy. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? Am I imagining things? For a second I was gonna make a joke about that, uh, it was an anime- oh, I think it was Kaon, yeah, where someone was, like, walking, and then they're like, Oh no, don't bump me, the vocabulary will fall out. But, something more serious is going on now. What? You see a groper or something? Sadly, that is actually a common problem on Japanese trains, to the point where they even have women-only cars. No, that's not it. It's... nothing. Hmm? Oop, Morgana's passive perception has noticed something. Oh my god, that guy got off! Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Huh? It's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <gasps> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. That really, really is not helping things. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Also not helping. W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious! Of course you think that. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. We know nothing about that place, but already it's probably better than Shujin. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Matarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. 
Huh? Do you mean that Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? And the one that guy in the Mentos allegedly said was abusive? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. And Madarame is a pretty grandiose name. I'm sure that's not a common one. Yusuke. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Madarame? Madarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? I think I will. Crap, look at the time! I'll see you later! I feel like Ryuji missed a for real there, also his jaw is still open. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. Honestly, it does kind of seem that way, just randomly hearing his name in an unrelated mementos request, and then it just so happens that the guy stalking Arn was his star pupil. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. And it all started around about the time we first got introduced to that world. Were you related to those as well? Hmm. I see. Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Facts and the occasional social stat building. Mm. Oh right, we're still in exams. <laughs> it's easy to forget that with all that plot that just happened, but yeah, we're still in exams. So yeah, even though we answered every question correctly, because our knowledge is still low, it's not going to result in the best uh, score. It's over. How about you? It's over. I love that. Come on, you two need to get your act together. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Uh, that thing that just, like that face that just appeared near you looks awfully familiar. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less too. 
I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not! When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. You know, admittedly, I was the kind of person who never wanted to go to art galleries when I was younger. I always found them boring. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. That's admittedly kind of true. Thieves and art galleries tend to go together in fiction. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. Just the phrase, going to an art exhibit, sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. And so, we are officially in the midst of the second arc of the story, and I have actually been looking forward to this, because the Kamoshida arc is one that most people who play this game like, and yes, it does make a very good impression as the first arc of the game, and yeah, I get that, but the Matarame arc is one that I didn't like when I first played this game, but I like it more every time I replay it. And now, I think it's one that's very underrated, and I am very excited to get to showing it, because I've got a lot of things to say about this, and I hope it's going to be interesting. Yeah, this is what I was saying too, uh, Madarame is a pretty weird name. Gotta be careful not to just jump into interrogating him, though, and saying, Oh, hey, so yeah, your, your teacher's probably a scumbag. That's not gonna go over well. So, tonight, uh, yeah, what would normally be a cannot-do-anything uh, night in the vanilla game, we can still watch DVDs, so uh, I'm gonna do that, but first... Let's do it. Saving, because, well, yeah. Uh, a lot of plot is gonna happen uh, in the next few days. In fact, it's all plot until the 17th, so uh, get used to that. Oh. But in my opinion, it's actually pretty decent plot. And so, we're gonna watch a realistic, apparently, teen drama. Most likely, all of the teens are played by 20-somethings, or 30-somethings. Uh, you think I go out with her? What do I look like? What? You liar! You told me you loved me just last night! But I love the fact that they use Persona 3 music for this. So in my head canon, even though it's set in like a uh, an, uh, like a fictional American place, in my head canon, this is a soap opera based on the life of the Persona 3 protagonist and him romancing all of the girls. In my Persona cinematic universe, this is a canon. Hey, hey. He would know everything about the desperate need to be loved by someone, wouldn't he? Well then. I haven't heard of taking out a loan just to see an art exhibit. 
This must be really popular. So crowded. But yes, welcome to the art gallery. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. <laughs> I love the difference in enthusiasm between those two deliveries. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Hun be alright? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? Morgana has uh, had a lot of people uh, intruding on his aunt simp privileges lately, hasn't he? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Yeah, I, when I was uh, a kid or a teenager, I was really with Ryuji. There were so many times during school holidays or long weekends, uh, my mum would be like, hey, there's an exhibit on in the art gallery, let's go. And I'd be like, ugh. Yeah, I could think of much better ways to spend my school holidays. But as I got older, I did like art galleries a lot more. I've seen a few of them in, in France, actually, including the actual Louvre, uh, Louvre, Louvre uh, or however you pronounce that. But, um, yeah, I'm, I do enjoy things a lot more now. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Okay, random thing, I was just looking at the poster there and it says Nihon uh, Bijutsu. Bijutsu is art, but I just realized that Bijutsu is like literally beauty. And then Jutsu is like, like kind of technique, art of something. But yeah, it's like basically literally just art of beauty. Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. This makes me wonder what this word was in Japanese. It's probably something kind of vulgar sounding, I'm guessing. Who would understand if you saw it? <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? madarame san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day! Stop pushing! We were all in such a hurry to see Madarame that we forgot to bring our faces this morning. Uh, there's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Meanwhile, in the land of people who aren't getting squashed... Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. There's a pretty nice cat picture there. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? 
I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. Can definitely see those sort of like, it almost looks like someone's uh, made smaller like splotches there, the red and the... I can kind of tell it was made with sort of angry brushstrokes and I'm not an art analyst at all, but uh, this is just my um, on-the-spot evaluation. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. H hey! You know, if that was an Ace Attorney game, I feel like... Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Uh, no, actually if it was Old Bag, maybe yes, but no, it, it makes me feel like Arn would ask, um, hey, do you know anything about this painting? Yusuke, five Cyclops appear. But thanks to that, I remember now. Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarism would explain why one person was able to create paintings in so many different styles. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal! I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? And kinda expose ourselves as phantom thieves? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Kamoshida's influence was limited to just one school after all, whereas Madarame is a big name in the overall art world and is a celebrity. He probably has connections. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? It's like, the man himself seemed perfectly fine, but there's a lot of shady rumours from other sources about him. The thing is, I do think this is a good point though. Anyone can post anything they want online without proof. Still... If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modelling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing! We could just go where he lives and stake out the place, that's not creepy at all! Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. If anything, that's a little more suspicious, just waltzing up to his place going, Hey, uh, where are those teenagers okay. who came to your exhibit earlier? Is your teacher abusing you? Well then. So yeah, it's, an, it's uh, a LeBlanc night, but still the home shopping channel is available, so let's check it out.
We actually had to go downstairs anyway since we're gonna be studying tonight. Allergy relief pack. Calming mask, 20 white eye drops, wow, just how badly do they expect people's eyes to be sore? Cosmetic cure gift. Aroma machine, omnivitamin, oh okay, those are just gifts you can give confidants, I don't really care about those. <sighs> I'll have plenty of money to buy gifts later in the game to go for that Thieves' Den award. Honestly, I'm not really interested in either of these, although the Allergy Relief Pack is admittedly quite cheap, so I may as well go for that. There's like no reason to buy something every week, there's no like loyalty system or anything like that, but um, I don't know, I just thought because that was cheap I'd go for it. Well then. Yeah. Huh. Wonder what you could have dealt with to have that kind of attitude. But yeah, it seems now like you can't up. hang out with Soldier on uh, plot nights in general, so we're just gonna study. Make sure you close up. I probably keep saying this, but I just want to stress that in the hey, vanilla hey. game, you would not be able to do anything on these nights. Generally, like the first few nights after you are starting to find a new target, you'll have just pure plot days and um, you'll be stuck in LeBlanc at night. Or in the vanilla game, not be able to do anything. Okay, let's get started. Speaking of things that are different in Royal, Maruki is actually giving lectures. Yeah, I just wonder, because I feel like we didn't really get much education about mental health in high school. We actually did get a little bit about anxiety and depression in what was, well, um, physical development, health, and physical education, or PDHPE, that most of us just called it puberty class, because it was basically a combination of sex ed, drug ed, basically all the things that also driving uh, alcohol, obviously, as well. All the things that they really want to tell teenagers uh, to not um, ruin their lives with. Yeah. Any ideas? The, the sex part, the ruining lives, is not so much the actual sex, but more the always use protection and that kind of stuff. But yeah, what we're uh, talking about here is the placebo effect. This is it. That's right. I still think my favorite, um, like, use of the placebo effect in any piece of media is in Metal Gear Solid 3, where... <laughs> where you can actually eat glowing mushrooms and it recharges your equipment's batteries, and if you call, like, your navigator team and explain that, they have this huge conversation where they all just freak out and go like, um... Like, wait, how how does that work? That makes no logical sense. And they're like, maybe it's some kind of weird placebo effect. Okay, don't tell him that that's scientifically impossible. Or maybe it will stop working. And they just call back and say, uh, yes, Snake, the Russian glow cap is a glowing mushroom, so eating it will recharge your batteries. Hmm. But yeah, no, I do know this, that, like, I have heard that the mind and body are connected like this. Hmm. Uh, maybe in the metaverse. Not really here, though. Now, the cutscene that's coming up is uh, also one that I've really been looking forward to. Not this, though. But yeah, the main thing that I was getting at there is we got, like, very, very basic mental health education when I was a high schooler, but I really think... I mean, I wonder if these days they actually give more of an in-depth... Uh, education on mental health, they really should, because it's just become so much more, uh, well, I wouldn't say well understood, but... Phantom Thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. I, I guess, uh, less stigmatized is how I describe it. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare! Huh, well, there's actually a pet fare on trains? I mean, admittedly, I've never actually tried taking an animal on a train before, so I wouldn't know. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, kitty! And this coming up is why this is one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. Uh, shoot. Is 
that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. <laughs> of course. This is ridiculous. Again, again. Press gently, press forcefully. <laughs> or this one. I'm so sorry, Morgana, but it has to be done. I'm sorry, you cannot, because we broke it. Oh, I just threw open my mouth. Oh, seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya, doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. So I believe that scene was not voiced in the vanilla game. That's why I like it so much more now. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. And this is the one that we go to all the time. What? We gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? I mean, admittedly, nobody suspects a phantom thief to arrive that way, so if you think about it, it's actually pretty stealthy. Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in, as expected of a famous artist. Ha, huh, so it's a modest dwelling, but in an expensive neighborhood. I wonder if that says something about him. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. So we're actually just getting to walk around during a story scene, which is not common. So it feels like one of the few times you actually have to do this in the story. Also, hey there. Everybody's talking about Madarame. Honestly, I've never actually experienced people this excited over an art exhibit in my uh, real life. I wonder if this guy's a famous art critic or something. I wonder how much Madarame makes from ticket sales. Ha, huh. well, we did see a homeless guy earlier who was talking about art. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to prove that you can't actually do that at this point. Yes, let's not uh, get secondhand smoke. Fortunately, the rest of the walk is skipped. To Guru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. By a cut to this person. We haven't had one of these in a while. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Jujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Thing is, somebody's already looking into it. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Madarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? 
You think we're wolves or something? Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? All of my friends are here. You two came as well. Hey. Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Madarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Oh boy, Ryuji did exactly what I told them not to do. Not that they can hear me past the fourth wall. Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... That is utter rubbish. Uh, different reaction. I'm suspicious here. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? Okay, this isn't the thing that I should be commenting on, but unlike Mishima, Yusuke does charge his phone. This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I gotta admit, it's, it's pretty good. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. Okay, Yusuke, like, I know what you mean, but, like, a lot of the things you say come across as very weird love confessions. You might want to work on that. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. Like, if you take out the drawing you part and just look what this sounds like. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Whose name happens to be spelled with the same kanji? Man, right when we thought we found a new target too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, oh. Hey, the app. Yeah, this thing is listening in, even when you don't mean to activate it. Um, I actually had somebody in real life accidentally do something like that with their phone recently, so... Was it picking up our conversation? This display... It means that Madarame has a palace too, right? But why? Ah yes, the app conveniently can prove whether people are abusive or not. Madarame? Plagiarism? 
and then shack, huh? These seem to be the keywords. It's awfully convenient having something like this on our side. For real though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? So now I can finally talk about this because this is actually really cool. If you go back and watch the early scenes where Ren and Ryuji accidentally got into Kamoshida's palace, in the conversation before, Ryuji said, Damn it! Screw that perfect teacher! You planning on ratting me out to Kamoshida? Who does he think he is, the king of a castle? He accidentally said all of the keywords, and that's why we were dragged in there. That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Well, we've already got a prison with a velvet room, and they wouldn't really reuse the same dungeon twice for castle. Uh, jail, uh, warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. You know, okay, here's the thing, I honestly think farm might have actually worked. Like, I can actually picture somebody who just treats their students as, you know, um, making artworks for them. I can see their palace manifesting as a farm where the students are like animals who are milked for their talents. No found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? So yeah, three more slots. An art school, an art supply store, or a museum. I guess we can try art school. No reaction. Anything else? Art supply store? That's no good either. Anything else? See, I myself would say art gallery here, but I suppose a museum is similar. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Oh yeah, you may have wanted to check your equipment before this and- Oh, too late. 